here with M Mandy Whaley. She's the Senior Director of Developer Experience at Cisco DevNet. And we're gonna talk about some of the new releases that DevNet has had at Cisco Live. And then also we're gonna talk about some of the great opportunities you have to learn at Cisco DevNet. With no further ado, how you doing? I'm Man? doing good, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for this opportunity to interview you and just share the DevNet experience with the community. Absolutely, thanks for inviting me on. I'm, I'm super excited to connect with the community and um, to get to chat with you for a while. Yes, so, so I guess we'll kind of start it off. What new announcements have De has um, DevNet had at Cisco Live Barcelona? So some of the new things that we're really showing in the DevNet zone at Barcelona um, focus around some of the technologies that are having big announcements at the show overall. So. Um, particularly around IoT and some of the new ruggedized de devices. Um, we're showing how you can deploy applications to the edge, so the edge compute that's in those routers. Right. Um, so we're, we're highlighting you know, opportunities for developers, how you can develop for the edge, how you deploy to the edge, and what some of the things you can accomplish by doing that. And then we also um, are showing a lot around Cisco SD-WAN. So that's a, a new thing for our community. A lot of people are learning, and so we're, we're putting a lot of resources out there to help people get started with that, including like our sandbox where you can get hands-on with it, uh, sample code that people can start running it and trying out those APIs. And then we're teaching a lot of classes and things on it as well. That's and great. then ACI has had some really cool um, uh, announcements this week, and so we're doing a lot of demos with um, some of the ACI announcements. Yes, um, the ACI Anywhere? Yeah, ACI Anywhere. ACI Anywhere. What, what type of announcements do you have around that? So we have um, updated the ACI Developer Center that's on DevNet. So if you go to developer.cisco.com slash ACI, you can get all the information and resources to help you use everything related to some of those new announcements. And then we've got ACI in the sandbox as well. And even the um, a sandbox where you can try out the ACI and Kubernetes integration. Okay, so is that a part of the DevNet Exchange? Uh, DevNet Exchange is about community. Ah. Uh, and so DevNet Exchange is about how the community can share projects they're working on okay. or solutions that they've created. There's actually two parts to DevNet Exchange. There's Code Exchange and Ecosystem Exchange. Right. Code Exchange is, if let's say you're working on a project and you've written something that you think may be useful for someone else, um, you can, you know, publish that on GitHub and then share it in in, in Code Exchange, and somebody else can come in and find it, and they might be able to help improve it, help extend it, or maybe just use it as a place for for them to get started. That's awesome. So it seems that not only um, in the industry right now, but in DevNet specifically, it's all about collaboration and community. Yeah. You want to talk about how? Um, network engineers and developers can use collaboration and ready-made tool sets yeah. to, to um, improve their environments. Absolutely. So, you know, we've been talking about DevOps in the industry for right. a while, right? And that's about, it's been about dev and ops coming together. Right. But now we're really seeing it's, it's way more than that. It's dev and security and ops and networking and all of those people coming together. Right. And to do that, they need some common tools, some common technology, some ways, ways to work. And, um, you know, publishing code in, in GitHub is by its nature collaborative because everyone can make pull requests and help evolve it. And that a lot of times is a great place to start bringing those teams together and start collaborating. So we put a big focus on that in DevNet. We actually, um, at our conference DevNet Create, which is coming up in April, oh. uh, <laughs> it's gonna be really good. We actually do a, a DevNet Creator Award, wow. which recognizes people who have contributed to the community who yeah. have you know been there to answer questions helped out other developers written some cool code things like that so so maybe you've got some devnet creators out there i, I um. think i might i think <laughs> i might so what does it mean to be a developer in today's landscape it, particularly for networking or just in general well let's, like, let's talk about both okay if you don't mind. <clears throat> yeah so for our in, in DevNet, we, we have kind of two parts of our audience that we spend a lot of time thinking about. And one is really focused on, I think, what you would normally think about as application developers. And um, what we are helping them build is things that use APIs from the infrastructure to do new kinds of use cases, like indoor location, um, 
you know, uh, some of the edge compute things that we talked about right. for IoT. And, um, and then when we talk about our infrastructure developers, it's a lot about using coding skills and learning those coding skills to help you automate, to make things more repeatable, more, um, you know, less error prone, more trackable, all of those benefits of, of infrastructure as code. Okay. Um, one of the things I've learned since I've been using Python is you don't want to automate something, a broken process. Oh, very <laughs> true. That's a really good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good one. And another one is um, to, in order to think like a developer, you actually have to start on paper, be able to write yep. out what you want <clears> to <throat> automate. And do you all kind of help people think like a developer in your program? Yeah, we do. It's, a, it's so funny that you say that. So in a, in a previous part of my career, I was a computer science professor. Okay. And I actually taught people those first, like, here's how you start coding. Right. And um, we talked exactly about that. Like, you need, you got to think through what yes. you're going to build before you start building it. Right. Um, and that is, I think, doubly true with automating network processes. Yes. And, right, you really got to plan it out. And then you got to have good testing. You got to have good ways to test it as well. Right. Right. So we spend time, you know, we teach coding, like coding basics, introduction to APIs, but wrapped into that are all these things around you know, how do you document your code as you're going? How should you think about where you're gonna to pick to automate? So those are things that we try to wrap in as we build those basic skills. That's great. So moving forward, what can we expect from DevNet um, 2019? Oh, lots of good, <laughs> lots of good stuff. Um, we got a lot of work going on in our DevNet Sandbox, which is, if you don't know, our DevNet Sandbox is open, free labs that anyone can spin up. So you're like, I wanna try the DNA Center APIs, Spin up, spin up the lab, get your hands on, start building something with it. And so we have a lot of new um, innovation coming out in the sandbox and a lot of new technologies coming out in the sandbox. Right. And, and, um, and then code exchange, we're gonna be putting a lot, of, um, a lot of sample code into that, a lot of use cases, and also working with the community to make that really rich. And um, like I said, we've got DevNet Create coming up, which is a community conference we have a lot of speakers from across the industry and from across our community come and speak. Okay. And then we also do tons of hands-on workshops there as well. I see. <clears throat> it's a great time to be in IT right now. With collaboration, automation, network program programmability. Yeah. Um, everything is moving forward in this society. It is, yes. it is. <laughs> One thing that we also have is we have a new place on, on um, developer.cisco.com. It's called developer.cisco.com slash start now. And we actually have a physical representation of that here at Barcelona. And it's all about like, you want to start moving towards doing those interesting new things. Right. Here is that sort of launch pad, that start now place. And on that start now page, it's got um, curated list of learning labs for enterprise networking. Here's eight labs that get you the basics. Data center networking. Here's eight labs that get you the basics of programmability. So that's a great place to kind of dive in. And one of those um, labs is Python 101. They can find it that is? There, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. They can find that one there and, yes. and get started. Yep. Cool things. Well, thank you, Mandy. I do appreciate your time. Thanks so much. This was a great interview. It was really great. Yes. Thanks so much. Thank you.